Welcome to Heart of the Matter Plus. I'm Omo Tayo. My name is Dipo Ayo Adeosi. Mm. In pop culture today, mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. have you seen, mm -hmm. in fact, have you witnessed, you know, perceive <laughs> that whole GT Bank Kiki challenge thing? So, there is a challenge. It's called the Level Up Challenge. Oh, that's what it is. Level Up. But the gist, really, is that GT Bank, mm -hmm. the establishment, actually got their staff to do the level of challenge in their office. Okay. I mean, my money is inside that bank. Wow. And they're doing level, level of, of challenge. challenge. With your money. With my money. I, I don't know how I feel about that, but really, let's think about it. How do we feel about everybody jumping on the trend? Is it like a situation of anything for the gram, anything for the likes? I don't know, because, mm. you know, when I was watching the video, mm -hmm. I was just looking for the message, because you know that you do, you do things the message? toward a message. And I was like, I, I was at the end, I was like, ah, no. And I watched it again, <laughs> and I still didn't find it, guys. I didn't find it. So maybe it did work, because I saw so many comments on people saying, oh my god, I've watched this like five times. What? Because it is addictive. You're just a bit like, it's like shock and awe. Like, what? what I don't understand what what's I, going on. What's the message exactly? What am exactly? I looking at? And all the wedding was leveling up and throwing files Leveling up to floor. where? What does that even mean? Level up, level up, level up, level up, level up. Hopefully, Sha, uh, GT Bank, my money will be leveling up. Exactly, that's in your what bank I think. account. Yes, please. <laughs> but even speaking of that, yeah. there was this other video mm -hmm. about a church in America, a random church in America, where the choir had converted Sunday, you know, so a few Sunday melodies. Okay into the In My Feelings Challenge. So this version was Jesus, do you love me? Are you riding? Uh <laughs> Okay, guys, I think there's a point where we do the most. Um, if you don't know what the most means, it means that you are extra. And you, have um, done... you are doing things that you really don't need to be doing. Mm. And this is one of those situations <laughs> right here. But I guess what keeps coming up is with these people who keep jumping on these trends just to look funky. How far? This most that we are doing, I think we are doing the uttermost. Utter, absolute. And the uppermost. Utter. If we can just reel it back. Mm. You don't have to be so thirsty. Yeah, because it just feels like you're now doing the most with this this trend. It was really cool in the beginning. The what whole beginning? Thing, well, when, when Drake first put it out and people were driving in their cars, I still can't figure out that thing, how you drive in your car and you're also dancing. Mm -hmm. But I, and I won't try because this is Lagos. <laughs> I'm trying to die. Yeah, but... Yeah, okay. Well, just from us to you, mm -hmm. just try not to do the uttermost. Yeah. Just like the all right. Just rain it in a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we'll be right back with our guest. Hey guys, welcome back to Heart of the Matter. Plus, we have with us one of the youngest people that's just getting it in this whole country all together <laughs> the beautiful idia asen how you doing girl hi, hey guys. hi thanks for coming <laughs> thank Looking you for bad. having me thank you. you you don't look bad yourself oh thank you thank you very much <laughs> thank you well idia here actually has two shows on spice tv and another two shows on arise quite the range and mm -hmm. quite the amount of shows so can you tell us about your shows and what you do Okay, so um, I have two shows on uh, Spice. One is a lifestyle show, and okay. it's called You've Got Issues. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we have 
questions from viewers about love, marriage, relationships, abuse, and various topics, careers, etc. And we just have guests from, you know, all spheres of, you know, the, the how do I say the? Spectrum. The spectrum. <laughs> um, so we've had pastors, um, relationship experts, therapists, etc. come on the shows to basically advise those people on, you know, their point of view and how to solve those questions that have been sent in. Mm. The second show is called Style 101, and it's basically the Nigerian version of Fashion Police. It's the vision. only Nigerian version of Fashion yes. Police yes. that counts. <laughs> um, and then on Arise, I am an anchor, and I get to like research love stories in business and in news. Oh, wow. And the first um, show is called The Global Business Report, mm -hmm. where um, we're just talking about everything happening in the economy and you know, with various companies um, across the world. And then the second show is Arise News Now. So it's just basically all the top news going on all over the world. Congratulations. That's quite the pleat. I mean, you know how much it takes for us. We just put this up a little, this exactly. a little yeah. thing together. Oh so that's, that's a lot. You know, behind the scenes, we're talking about um, how you're not in one box. Mm -hmm. And even just hearing the diversity of the shows that you host that's coming out. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Honestly, mm -hmm. um, I feel like I... I always had a very diverse background mm -hmm. in terms of like what I studied versus where I've worked. And then, you know, coming to Nigeria, it's like, oh, you know, you're too serious. We need to see this other side of you. Then next minute they're like, no, you know, we're seeing too much of this side. We need to see this other side. Right. And then I said, you know what, I'm just going to make um, myself very marketable. So mm -hmm. have a kick-ass website, have a mm -hmm. great resume, re resume reel, and host shows that show people all the faces of Dr. Idia and everything that she can do. So I can talk about fashion, I can talk about anything life or career related, I can talk about business, I can talk about current events. And I think that's what makes a person or a presenter well-rounded when you know you can host something for the government and then the next minute you know you can also, I don't know, host a concert or whatever. I think I don't believe in being in a box and I think that's more of my brand. It's I don't want to be thrown into just one box. Wow. Love it, love it, love it. So can you talk a little, because in there, you, you just said government. I was like, well, mm. what's that? Can you talk a bit more about the work you've done in government? Well, so there's, um, there's a campaign that I produced uh, in 2017, is that last yeah. year, for the, for the government, for the LIRS, yes, and it was just basically that. sensitizing to um, people on why they should pay tax. But then from there, I'm now working on a lot of more developmental topics. Okay. And um, it's just basically to show people that I believe that we are government. Mm. So I've never been the type of person to sit down and say, oh, this person, like my parents didn't do this for me, or my boyfriend yeah. didn't do this for me, or my country didn't do this for me. It's what are you doing? Like, what are you giving and what do you have to offer? And I feel like as Nigerian people, we definitely have a lot of issues in the country. Mm. I mean, nobody's a stranger to that. But what are you doing about these things? Are you complaining or are you creating a voice? Right. So one of the things that I've done recently is in partnership with the European Center for the Electro for Electoral Support. Mm. Um, they are a subsect of the EU, okay. and it's basically just sensitizing women on on why they need to be part of the voting process and also not just um, elect leaders, but mm vie to be elected, yeah. you know, because we need more women speaking out. We need more yeah. people speaking out in general, more yeah. youths, more women. And I think that, you know, in a country where, like, you have such a high percentage of females as well, yeah. that percentage should be evenly represented when we are going to the polls. Yeah. Yeah. You talk so much about, I mean, I'm, even I myself, and I've known you for a while, <laughs> but I, I did know that you were this into the government and change and impact, and I really love it. Huge. But I want to ask you, would you ever consider running for any governmental <laughs> position? We'll see. I feel like with my work um, and with the upcoming work that I have, I'm going to be able to do so much work mm -hmm. that will, you know, just enlighten people on various issues. And I don't know if running for government mm -hmm. is necessarily the goal, because as I said, we are all government. We yeah. all have mm -hmm. um, a part to play in what happens to this country. It's not just about the people in power, it's about, it's about us. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't know if, <laughs> I'm going around the question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what will happen in, on that side, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. see. Okay. Mm. Okay. <laughs> All right. So there's, there's so many things that you talked about that I want to put together. Mm -hmm. How does your faith mm -hmm kind of help you navigate all these different places? Because the thing is, you're a presenter, mm -hmm. but you, you have a lot of social impact, and mm -hmm. you're very aware of 
of the role that people have to play. And it's, it's almost a bit political, but it's mm -hmm. not quite. But then it's also like there's presenting, which looks like the glam and the glitterati. But mm -hmm. then there's you as a person who's very clear on the goals that you want to achieve. How does your faith kind of like tie into this journey? Um, I think... When I was much younger, I was a very, very strong Christian. Like you couldn't even play, <laughs> you couldn't play with like my belief in God and you know just my thirst and my hunger for Christ and His Word. And then of course, like I, I went away for a very long time and things changed a little bit with work and being thinking you are pre preoccupied. And then you know coming back and still just being thrown into work all the time. But I think recently I'm now more grounded in the fact that I've had one belief my whole life. And I think that you are responsible for your narrative. Nobody else can tell your story like you can. And nobody else can um, decide what you leave behind for other people. Right. So I think that that impact and that narrative is something that we're responsible for. Mm -hmm. But how we go about that is now where the faith determines how you go about that. So um, I've always believed that um, I've always believed that just by watching my life in terms of like how hard I work and how I push for the things that I really believe in, I, I feel like if one person out there is encouraged to do something similar, then my mission is achieved. Mm, so. oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. So we always try to ask a question about practical ways okay. that young people, so everybody's complaining about the government, the government, the government. Yeah. But like you said, like we have, we are the government. Yeah, so what practical ways can you share with our audience mm -hmm. to, to help them realize that they can get up now mm -hmm. and actually do something to contribute? The first thing is always just being knowledgeable mm. because I think that a lot of times we'll say things about the country or the economic situation, the political situation, and we don't even really know what we're talking about. So the first thing is always knowledge, like mm. do your research, right? Mm. Second thing is you know, you, you want Nigeria to change, but how are you adding to that change? Have you registered for your PVC mm. or your TVC? Because obviously mm. you have to get the temporary voters card first. And like right now, um, we're in Parkview, there's um, a center open right there where you can register. I've talked to a lot of people in the past and they'll say, oh, I'm really going to vote this, ah, 2019 is our year. And then I'm like, okay, have you registered? Have you registered? And they're like, ah, I went there, the line is long ago. And I'm just like, then why don't you go early? You know, it's little things like today is, today is a, it's the weekend. So there's really no excuse. So I think it's knowledge and it's just about getting up and taking action. And yeah, and that's really it. I don't know, being knowledgeable enough to take action. All right, so we're going to segue into the fun part of the this. Whole thing is fun. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> but yes, we have some questions. It's called the rapid fire, rapid fire. questions. Oh God! Yes. So don't Jesus. think too much about it. Just first answer comes into your mind. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Are you ready for it? I'm always yeah. ready. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. First question: um, Michelle Obama or Beyonce? Who has greater influence on today's youth? Beyonce. I love, I love Beyonce. It. Like. like mm. All right. Birthdays or Christmas? Birthdays. Yeah? Mm. Absolutely. Mm. Okay. okay, love it. Beach party or wedding turn up? Beach party. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sand and water girl, so mm. I can't. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. That's cool. All right, cool. Um, music or movies? Movies. Yeah? Movies. Oh, I'm a movie wow. buff. Yeah. Like, absolutely. I like to get lost in other realities. Mm. Oh, okay. okay, that's okay. interesting. Okay, eating healthy or exercise? Exercise. Really? <laughs> You're like, don't exercise. restrict my diet. I just bought this really sweet bread from Delis. So, this, yeah. And, and I know what you're stopping me. I've almost finished the whole loaf. So, mm, right. it's done. <laughs> okay, night owl or early riser? Both. Really? Absolutely. I, no matter both? what I do, at night, I'm up by before six, right before six. No ma even if I come back home at 4.30 a.m., I'm up at six. There's oh, not, wow. if I miss the night, wow. I've missed it. It's like clockwork. Wow. Clockwork. I tap into. I know, it has to be discipline. Like I love it. My sisters are like that as well, so. Yeah, wow. all right, so if you had to choose uh -huh. which of the things you do mm. allows you to have more impact, mm. which would it be? What do you mean, like with my shows? Or with yeah, like hosting or like, mm. Or your government, government work. work or projects? I would say, I would say, I would say for now hosting, mm. just because um, the youths make up a huge percentage mm -hmm. of 
the world or yeah. Africa as a whole. And my like my shows on Spice, for instance, are shown in over 40 countries, right? Mm. So we have a lot of young people and what are they interested in? Right now they're interested in, you know, trendy Red stuff, and glitz, glam. glam and whatever. Mm. So I feel like when you engage those people, then right. you can now start to send messages to them. So right. for instance, like on my platforms, like my social media platforms, even though we'll post like nice outfits, which people are like, oh, mm -hmm. the next day we'll like hit them with like a scripture or an inspirational message because right. that way mm -hmm. it's not like, oh, I'm not going to her page of that's how all she posts mm -hmm. is. You know what I mean? But that yeah. way you've already Mixed sucked in, them into yeah. your page right. and then you can, somebody has to be interested in you and right. what you have to say Before for you, you to say something that will mean anything to them. Yeah. So, I love it. I love it. Strategy. 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 So much yeah. wisdom. So much yeah. wisdom. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all the time we have to talk to Iria. We're so excited and so grateful that you came on the show. I think thank there's so much that people have to learn from yes, everything that you said. You. Thank you, thank you. All right, guys, we'll be right back with the commentary. It's time for the commentary. Recently, a group of individuals within the media industry came together to discuss some of the issues in Nigeria, you know, yeah. and um, policies, ideas, and strategies on how to solve them. And yeah. you were actually there. Yes, I yeah. was. And the, the, the biggest takeaway for me was when the statistics, the voting statistics, were actually broken down. Oh, wow. Guys, I finally know why you really, 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 really need to go, go and get, get your, your PC. PC. Or finally, TVC at least. Yeah, because you have to get the TVC first, first. which is the temporary voter's yes. card, and then you get the permanent, permanent voter's card, mm -hmm. which is the PVC. All right, let's so break, break it, it down. down. Break let's it break down. it down a bit. So basically, apparently at the last elections in 2015, right. we had about 96 million eligible voters. That sounds like a lot. Right? Mm -hmm. Over the age of 18. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, President Buhari won the elections with 15 point something million votes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. And, good luck, Jonathan. Okay. Got 12 point something million votes, which comes to about 30 something million. So can we go all the way back to how many people were eligible to vote? Did you say 96? 96. And then only 37 people voted? About, about 27. 27, it's 15, 15 12, 27. Yeah. So actually, guys, all this talk about rigging elections exactly, because really doesn't if, carry any weight. Yeah, because if you think yeah. about it, if the incumbent president mm. could only get 12 million votes, 12 point something million votes, and Buhari, who took over, only got 15 point something million votes, it means that there are about how many millions of people who are eligible to vote who could have voted. Now, we're always saying, we're always saying that they rig and they mm. rig and they rig. But look at those numbers. The number of people who voted, who, who actually went for the accreditation and didn't come back. So people came out in the morning to be accredited to vote. Then they did not go back. It was equally in the millions. We'll have the stats up. So, so what that happened? You can Were see. they just trapped like this? Go home, start watching a show, and just, oh, this really cool show. Literally. I can't go back. If we we realize how impactful each person's vote is, there were at least, if, one, if 10 more million people had come out to vote. Mm. We could have swayed the votes. Now, we were happy in 2015. 2019, mm, we're not so sure. But the issue is that if 10 million more people come out to get their PVCs mm. and they actually show up to vote, there's only so much rigging that can actually be done because the percentage of people that are, the percentage of votes that are bought yeah. is so little. It if you cannot be in the millions. It cannot be. It cannot outweigh the amount cannot, of people who actually will come out to vote yes. if we did. Yeah. And a lot of the people who, uh, who um who are the votes that are bought are people who are not educated, mm, so they're not elite. Right. But the people who are educated are still in those tens of millions. So we keep thinking, oh, we are not the ones winning the vote; it's the grassroots. No. But those people who can who you can be who can be bought and sold with bags of rice, yeah. they are a tinier percentage. Come on, guys! Come on, guys! Let's let's get our furthermore TVCs and please furthermore. Mm. This was a very interesting one. Okay. In the ATSL local government, there are, let's say, I don't know, about 30 million or so Nigerians. We'll, okay. we'll get you the specific statistics. Mm -hmm. But for the last local government elections, do you know what the ATSL local government chairman? Do you know how many? Do you know how many? Should I brace myself? You saw it. Should I brace myself? Okay. In total, okay. there's probably about 12,000 people who came out to vote. Stop it now. So the guy who won 
won by 10,000 votes. Meanwhile, in that entire place, if only a million people who live in Etiosa mm -hmm. had come out to vote, mm. anybody else could have won. But he won by 10,000. 10,000. See, people on Instagram, you have more followers than that guy. <laughs> like, legit. Let's just help you put in perspective. So when we keep talking about don't talk to the elites, don't talk, you as the elites, you can make an entire local yes. government. You can choose the leader in your little sphere. Wow. Wow. So please, we beg you. Please, 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 everybody, go out, get your TVCs, eventually get your PVCs, and please vote. It's Don't just get it, it for the glamour of social media. Actually, Look, vote. It's worth it, mm. and it actually counts. Yeah. It actually counts. That's right. Yeah. Well, that's all the time we have on this episode. Have a great week. We'll see you next time.